Hello, I'm Emma Rand from the University of York and in the six minutes we spend together now I want to tell you about my unconventional journey to becoming a biologist and a data enthusiast, what I currently do to teach sustainable software practices and the empathy I have for beginners, and my plans for targeting PhD students with this training and how the fellowship would support me. So this is a standard route into academia Following uh, school education, people do a degree uh, and a PhD, and then they'll have a series of postdocs before they finally land their first lectureship. And this means that their first experiences in teaching are very distant from their first experiences in being a learner. My experience was rather different, and I think that's where my empathy uh, began. So I just about managed to get my GCSEs. And then I left school and I had a, a period of homelessness um, and founded a whole food cooperative in Sheffield. And eventually in my late 20s I decided to do an access to higher education course so I could undertake a biology degree. And this is where I first encountered computers and that was a very bumpy ride. It was quite a shock. Um, I followed this up with a computational biology uh, master's programme and was offered a job at the end of that programme to teach it. And I'm now a lecturer in data science. So my teaching is focused around um, reproducible pipelines for data analysis. Uh, and I specialise in teaching people who really don't see themselves as programmers, so biologists and medics. I'm very enthusiastic about data and reproducibility, and I introduced um, statistical programming to our undergraduate degrees. I teach a wide variety of people, undergraduate students, PhD students and professionals and one of the things they all have in common is that they don't actually want to learn to code, they just want to be good researchers. And this is something I feel that I'm quite good at understanding. Uh, and I essentially beat that fear of coding out of them with my enthusiasm and try and persuade them into lifelong habits of uh, scripting. So outside the university, what I do is I'm involved in a number of uh, continuing professional development programmes for both the Royal Society of Biology and the Biochemical Society. Uh, I recently gave a tutorial at the USAR conference in Toulouse uh, in running Python in R. And I'm a member of R Forwards, which is the R Foundation's task force on women and other underrepresented groups in scientific coding. And I'll be running a workshop on creating impact from code and package development uh, in January. I am trained as a, an instructor for the Carpentries, a uh, training that I undertook quite recently. Um, and it was done by Alex, who's the training team leader at the Software Sustainability Institute. I'm developing an app at the moment for learning R. So what do I see as the problem? So many life science deg degrees provide training in data analysis and programming now, which means that individuals are equipped to implement programming based solutions to scientific problems, but rarely to actually professionally document and disseminate them code. And these are exactly the skills they need for a culture of making analyses reproducible and software sustainable to develop in labs. And as a result, labs are often relatively unchanged in this respect by their influx of these relatively data literate um, graduates. So what I'd like to do really is focus on um, the, particularly the BBSRC White Rose Doctoral Training Partnership in Mechanistic Biology because this is a programme run jointly by Leeds, Sheffield and York. It has about 150 students on it. And one of the strengths of this programme is that they have cohort based training. And that means everybody goes to one place to uh, carry out some mandatory training. And this provides an opportunity for training them in so so sustainable software practices with a very low barrier for engagement. So the fellowship would fund me to provide workshops at existing events so that students could join into them easily. 
it would fund um, workshops to be run at uh, a satellite events following that main training event and uh, mentorship for those students. And I'd like to provide a program of a program for DTP students to apply to to help them develop communities of practice events at their own White Rose institution. So in summary, I'm a very enthusiastic sustainable software user. I'm in the habit of giving my time to give workshops in these areas and I want to target PhD students and use the fellowship to embed good practice in laboratories. Thank you very much.